Okay, guys. Um, let's go through some of the collection. We got a whole lot of it. Plus a whole box full there, too. And still some up there. We have moved stuff around. All right, let's start with Witch Baby Soaps. Uh, this is some of the Halloween line. Here is the... I just hold these, so we're going to go through these quick. Here is the You'll Be Dead by Dawn Coffin Bomb, Witch Baby Stamp. Smells amazing. Cool looking bomb. I'm not going to go through all scent descriptions and everything right now. As we demo them, we will do that, I promise. So, that guy down. This is her bomb that is available in the mainline items. You can get this one all year round. This is the um, graveyard bath bomb. And yes, it smells like a graveyard. Well, it smells like dirt, like potting soil and flowers. Cool. She always does them in these cute boxes. I have pink boxes. These are my white boxes now. This is one of my favorites, just because of the scent. It is Lily Incarnation scent. This is the Oracle. Again, with the Witch Baby impression. I think that's really cool that now she has the impression everywhere. Nice big bomb. This bomb is like 10 bucks. So we got two. Uh -oh. The Oracles are my favorite. She did come out with a Baptist bath bomb, a coffin one. A while back, and uh, it's the same scent. It's Lily's Incarnation. I absolutely love that scent. These are her uh, Mystery Sucker bath bombs. Unfortunately, everyone is getting them like this. So this one cracked up on me. This is, I believe, either Fruit Punch or Watermelon. It doesn't say what they are. They are Mysteries. And here we have the one that held up. This one's been holding up for almost everybody. This is the Cherry Scented one. They're supposed to have bath melt in the center, like a big thing of bath melt connected to the lollipop stick. So there's those two. Let's keep it moving. Here's one of her soaps. I have a lot of her soaps, actually. Here's one I have not gotten into yet. This is the Coconut and Lemongrass. I don't really like it that much. But it is uh, just a moon soap. I've been trying to get this one just because of the way it looks. Uh, it finally was in stock, so I went for it. Please ex excuse the horrible, crappy nail color job. I gotta do them again. Anywho. There is the soap. She makes soaps, bombs, uh, perfumes, all kinds of goodies. Really, 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 really enjoy Witch Baby Soaps Company. Uh, okay, I guess that was all I had for Witch Baby Soaps right now, because we did do Hollow Man earlier, so he's gone. Uh, perfumes I showed you in the haul. Let's move along to uh, White Forest. White Forest, I still have the bubble bar. The person who created this is a 14-year-old guy named Nate. And Nate just opened his company not too long ago, and I think he does an amazing job. So this is White Forest. All of these companies are linked down below. So you can always find them. Just hit that drop box and they're all there and you can go shopping. This is the really, really, really big Boo Berry Bubble Bar. Let me put that in the box. I'm putting everything back in a box just to transport it over to the shelving unit. This, I believe, is called the Haystack. And this is the amazing full scented uh, bath bomb. I can't open it right now, though. Nope, can't figure it out. What the hell, man? This is why I hate saran wrap. You know something? We got a lot to go over. I don't think I could spend much time doing this. Okay. It is cracking up a slight bit, but just because I banged it by accident, and it does have the points on it, so it is cracking a bit. But I cannot wait to do this one, because the bath is going to smell absolutely amazing. Holy crap, do I love the way this smells. This is the, uh, the like, it's like pumpkin, spice, fall leaves. It's just, welcome to New York. You see the horns beeping. You hear? <laughs> this is an amazing bath bomb. I love this scent. That is, again, from White Forest. Also, another one from White Forest. I don't know what the hell the name of this one is. Uh, these he just threw in for me. Which, I thank you so much, Nate. You're awesome, man. This, it just has a scent that I can't describe it to you, but I'm in love with it. Look how big this thing is. This thing is mammoth. Another space girl on steroids. I love it, though. I love it. It's got the satin ring around it. I love this guy. I can't wait to see him in action. I can already see other colors in him. So he's going to be really cool. Mm, I have demoed some of White Forest bombs and products. I have the amazing bubble bath, the poison apple bubble bath green glitter. <gasps> so good. And even more than the bubble bath, I love the Scarecrow Blood Shower Gel. Which, yes, I have used it as a bubble bath, and it's amazing. And it lingers. They all linger on your skin. So, again, Nate White Forest. He's also linked down below, but his restock, he does at certain times, so your best bet is contact him. 
and uh, see what he can do for you. Okay, let's move along right here to the ones that are right in my face. <laughs> this is the New York Bathhouse. Recently just hauled them. Uh, huge. I was mistaken when I said the price of this at 18 No, it is $15 for this. This is supposed to be broken into about four baths. I'm not going to do that. Um, Scent-wise, you smell the cranberry, peach, and vanilla. You really do. <clears throat> here is the peach bellini from the same company, New York Bathhouse. I like the way it smells. Peach Bellini smells really, really peach. Really beautiful. It's a smaller one for them, but a big one for normal, you know, bombs. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, another one from New York Bathhouse. This is the, what is this one? The Fruit Punch Donut. Lots of bath melt in this guy. This whole center thing is all bath melt. Uh, when we did the last bath melt one like this, the donut, which was the pumpkin spice one, as soon as I had to cool down the water for Bug to get in, it started coagulating again, and it was getting kind of icky. So, nee, not really too keen on all that. This is their smaller bath bomb. This is the cherry bomb, and holy crap, yes, packs a punch. An amazing cherry scent on this. Not synthetic. Really, really, really nice. Really, like, um, almost like a black cherry scent. Like a black cherry soda, kind of. I would love this one. I have not used it yet just because it smells so amazing. Also from the New York bathhouse. Linked it down below. Okay, here's another New York bathhouse. This is the Kawaii Dreams. To me, I think this thing smells like a Tootsie Roll. I still think it smells like a Tootsie Roll. I don't know. Richie thinks it smells like something different. He can't pinpoint it, but I think it smells like a Tootsie Roll. It's so adorable, though. And I also got a soap from the New York bathhouse. This was supposed to be the peppermint soap. It was, you can buy so many things and out of their new collection, and then they let you pick one item free. I could have even picked a waffle free, but instead I just wanted to try their soap, so I picked the peppermint one, because I do like the minty stuff. And they sent me this relaxation one, which the smell is not bad, but it's not what I like. So, meh, on the soap. I haven't even used it yet. I'm going to eventually test it. When I test it, when I, everything I demo, I will let you guys know right on. Uh, let's really quickly go over some Ah Sugar Sugars. What I have left for Ah Sugar Sugar, not including the one that Teresa and Lily sent me, I have the Carousel Bath Bomb, which is Cotton Candy Amazement. I love this scent. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. This is the only bath bomb I got from them just because I was late on the uh, restocking. And she does. She comes on every once in a while and restocks, and it's hard to keep track, but it is worth it. And I waited a month for product. I waited from one restock to a new restock to get this. It's so good, though. I mean, it was. it's so worth the wait. I absolutely loved it. I can't wait to demo that one. Here is a bubble bar. This one's called Dream Big. Dream Big is beautiful and smells good. It's a little hole in here. All her stuff has such unique scents and such amazing scents that I'm so in love with the smells. I really do love these smells. Uh, the one that Teresa and Lily gave me is still inside. It's in a box. In the original box that I came in. But uh, let's move on. Here we also have another one. This is the, I believe it's Posh, right? The Posh Life. Posh Life Deluxe Donut. Isn't it cute? I believe this is a soap. This is bath melt. This is bubble bar. And here is bath bomb here. This thing smells good. But once again, I'll go over scent descriptions and everything. It kind of smells kind of citrusy. Scent descriptions and everything, all that, as we demo. And if during this video you guys see anything you want to see demoed, yell it out in the comments, please. Help me make decisions. Because I can never decide on what I want to do. Okay, let's move along to another favorite, <clears throat> Whiskey Mermaid. This here is my Peach Mango Skull from Whiskey Mermaid. Absolutely amazing. She reformulated her Beth Bombs. Uh, me and her talked. I didn't like the original ones. We talked about it the whole nine. And she reformulated them and sent me a giant box of goodies. So, I was so happy when she sent the giant box of goodies. It was like Christmas, going through it. The packaging was amazing. I love the individual stickers on everything. This is the peach mango daiquiri, and yes, it smells like a peach mango daiquiri. His little glitter eye thingy, his little jewel eye is not in his eye, though, but that's where it goes. Now, here you see the other one. This is the Pokemon. Pokemon skull. Beautiful. They foam. They have their moisture still. Never lost any of the moisture, but they are foaming now, and they put on amazing shows. Pokemon! Okay, let's keep going. Here is a little skull. 
She also sent me a little brain, and it was very menthol-y, so we decided that we were going to use that as a foot bath bomb. And, uh, I don't know, if you want to see me set off the foot bath brain bomb, then let me know. But we're going to use that as a foot bath because it is so menthol-y and so, like, eucalyptus that it just feels like, smells like it would feel good for the feet. And then we have this little guy who smells nice and, like, kind of, like, perfumey, but really, 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 really exceptionally good. He's going to be using a cocktail. I love this little guy. So that is the end of my skulls from her. But she also makes ugh, these dark waters. And these are deep, intensive. This is a black bath bomb. This will turn your bath bomb black as night. Turn your bath water. Sorry. And it's huge. It's a big old bomb, man. Then she has another size bombs, which are these little guys. Now, all you need for your bath is this bomb. And it's perfect. Unless you, unless you have, like, a massive tub. This is absolutely perfect. This is Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea is one of my favorites. Again, these stickers. We also have here, this one was the uh, Bamboo Hemp. This one smells great, man. Oh, man, I can't wait to do this one. Ooh. I thought hemp was like clothing, like made out of weed. It is? So does that mean there's weed in this? Hemp is a resin. Oh, it's resin? Yeah, like hash? Yeah. How do you know all this? <laughs> this one smells outrageous. I was 16 once too. You were 16 once too? <laughs> okay, and here we have... What was this one? Unicorn? Yeah, this is unicorn. I was going to say unicorn tears, but it's unicorn. And I love the stickers. I wish I can get them off whole and not rip them, but it's very hard to get them off whole. This one smells outrageous. Oh, wait, I'll do that one. I'll do my favorite last. This is the mojito. Okay, mermaid mojito. Really, really good. Smells so good. We also have here, I believe this one was the... Oh, this is love potion. So this one, look how pretty this is. See the mermaid up here? This one smells exactly like love spell. And I have the original love spell, about four bottles of that shit, up on my shelf right now. And I always compare when somebody sends me a love spell bomb. Yes, exact dupe to Love Spell, and it's called Love Potion. Also, we have, and I'm not a big fan of rose, but we have a pretty much like a lush rose jam dupe, and this one is called, I love, love, love this sticker, Rebel Rose. I'm going to definitely try and keep this sticker for the book. I have like a scrapbook. Now, this one is, yes, like a rose jam dupe. It is so good. I hate rose jam shower gel, but I like the rose jam bubble bar. And this... I'm going to pair this with it. I'm going to cocktail with this and the Rose Jam Bubble Bar. I like this so much. I'm not a huge Rose fan at all. Oh, here is a uh, Bath Bomb Dust, like a bath potion. And this is uh, Thy Enemy's Tears. Ooh, and this smells outrageous, too. You guys are seeing a green, but it's more of a black powder. I can't wait to use this stuff. This is stuff. This type of stuff is like dust jars, and they're great for when you cocktail. Take a couple tablespoons, throw it in as you're doing your cocktail. Oh man, the scent. The scent is outrageous, and it's strong on these. And yes, your scent will linger on your body. This is the Lizzie Bourne. I was ecstatic to see this because you know, some I missed the one from Ticklish Draft. I didn't have the money at the time when it came out. I went to order it. I asked if there'll be any more. She said the box would be a zombie box. I got confused. That was the monthly box. I thought she was coming out with another box, so I was holding off, and then. I finally realized what the hell was going on, and I had run out of money. So I was so excited to get the little hatchet here for the Lizzie Bourne bomb from Miss Whiskey Mermaid. Okay, I'm going to pause for a brief second, clear all this stuff up, and we'll start again. Okay, guys, before I do my atomic bomb bath and body, I missed one. I do have the old secret rose bath bomb from Witch Baby Soaps. I Whoa, it's dusty. I wound up getting... I must have a hole in it then. I'm getting dust everywhere. I wound up getting the yellow one, but they came in an array of different colors. I thought it was really cool, and I wanted to throw that in. Yes, it does smell like rose. So hang on one sec. Okay, guys, one of my absolute most favorite companies out there. This is the Atomic Balm Beth and Body Tammy. Aunt Tammy, we tell Boogie she is, because Aunt Tammy makes his Beffy products. Okay, Aunt Tammy sent Boogie a Minion Soap. She keeps his Minion collection stacked. This is the Minion Soap. It's a glycerin soap. And it's adorable. And I believe this one is in bubblegum scent too, right? I'm pretty sure. Yep. Fun bubblegum scented. 
So this one is the bubblegum scent that I ever so love. I love her bubblegum. I love her juicy fruit scent, too. Okay, so that is the minion soap. This is my favorite thing. Yes, after I use it, I have to put them right back in. Um, it is... One side is... I'm not going to show you because it's kind of messy in there for me digging my fingers in it. One side is the lip scrub. You scrub it on your lips. You wipe it off with a damp rag. And then you put your lip balm on. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I use this thing constantly. And I put it right back on the shelf right in its cute little packaging. Because it is so adorable. I mean, everybody comes up with the most cutest packaging and the most, you know, like, biggest seller and things like that. I think using this was an amazing idea for package. It is so cute. I think it's like a little contact case. But it's adorable. One of my favorite things is her lip scrub. I used up my sample completely, and thank God I got one of those. We also have here one of my favorite bath bombs of all time. This here is the Palm Noir, which I believe means black pomegranate. And it's a color blast one. The last one I had, I put it in and it was like terrible everywhere. So this one I am excited to do. I'm not sure when I want to do it though, because I'm trying to hang on to heads as much as I can. Simply because I love them so much and I don't have any money right now to order another one. But with this company, I just tell her, hey, I have $100 or hey, I have $50. Do your best. And she sends me an array of amazing goodies. So, and all of her bath bombs, they bubble. So all you, they, it feels like a three in one, a bath melt, a bubble bar, and a show and a scent from the bath bomb. You put it in, you let it go off, you turn your water on and your bubbles fill up. You get in, it is the most creamiest bath you'll ever be in, in your life. So I definitely do rave that company. Uh, oh, here is my Palm Noir. Speaking of Palm Noir, soap. I told her I love the scent and she sent me the soap. I love this thing. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It's even, it's even glitter. I love her soaps. It's one of the one of the only soaps that I can use on my face and that I'll use on the baby without any kind of like irritation because I have extremely sensitive skin. He does not. He has pretty good skin, but mine is so sensitive. So I love her soaps, and when I wash my face, I definitely do keep hers. Every bar of soap that I get from her, I do cut a small chunk off, and I keep that strictly as facial wash soap, and the rest of it goes for body and everything else. But I do use the whole bar. Not like Lush Wall cut pieces off. Here's another bar of soap here. Me and Richie are splitting this one because we are giving the other one to you guys in a giveaway this month. This is, look at this card. Isn't this card cool? The Dragon's Fire Goat's Milk Soap. Oh, it smells so good. This is her stamp right there. I love this. I absolutely love this soap. So me and Rich are splitting this guy. I'm going to cut it down the center. Absolutely love it. Okay. Uh, oh, here is a reusable solid bubble bar. And guess what scent it is? Oh, it doesn't have it written on here. Ah, it's Rockstar. It is Rockstar scent. Oh, it did have a little sticker on it, but I think I ripped it off. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. It is Rockstar scent. It is the Lush Rockstar dupe, but her dupe is like Rockstar on steroids. It is that friggin' good. I have a Rockstar chunk of soap right here. I think Tammy smells better. I hate to say that. Don't tell Lush I said that. But Atomic Bombs, better scent. It's stronger. I like it more. Uh, the last bubble bar she sent me was like Monkey Duty or something like that. Oh man, I fell in love with it. And you can use them as soap too. Now this is a, this is her cream bath, I think it was. Um, basically she took a bath bomb, cracked it, and she filled it with bath melt to give me like a creamy type bath. It looks like an egg, don't it? It's so cool. I don't know what this one smells like yet because it is so tightly. Oh wait, it's actually kind of open. Hold on. Let me smell it. Oh shit. Ah, oh, I can open it. What the hell did I think of that? Oh, wow, this one smells nice. All right, let me not get into scent description because I'll be here all freaking day. This one smells good, man. All right, we also have here, this is a bomb that was designed by her son, and it's kind of like for anxiety. When you're really feeling stressed out, you throw this one in, and you just sit back and relax. And it kind of eases anxieties. This one is called Vigor. Vigor smells really, really good. It smells kind of like a fragrance oil that I had called Anxiety Ease. But not not quite like it. And I used to rub it on my like my insides and my wrists and stuff. Whenever I was going somewhere or had to be somewhere that I was uncomfortable. Like the grocery store. <laughs> but this one is Vigor and it is absolutely beautiful and I'm hoarding it. Okay. We also have here before I get into the Halloween stuff. This is the two-in-one product. It is Bubble Bar and Bath Bomb. <sighs> it's a cupcake! Isn't it so cute? I love this. So you have like your bubble bar stuff on top and then you have your Biffy Bomb part on the bottom. I'm hoarding this one too. 
<laughs> right now I'm going to be doing a lot of Halloween stuff this month, obviously because it's October, and then we will go more into, and it really does smell the Japanese cherry blossom scent that I've smelled. It really does smell very, very good. Not like Sakura from Lush, it smells better. Okay, let's jump into, oh, wait, I'll show you this one too. Okay, this one here is the uh, Tub Time Bubble Bath Play-Doh. Basically, this is like fun, only with the it, two things. You make bubble bath out of it, and you uh, play with it, basically. See? So the kids can play with it in the tub, and they make bubble bath out of it. But this one's not really supposed to be used as a soap, but I have used it as a soap. It works fine. This one just doesn't lather up that much. It's more moisture. It has a high moisture content, but it makes a lot of bubbles. So I don't know how the hell she pulled that one off, but she did. And it is absolutely amazing. This is in bubblegum scent. Her bubblegum scent is outrageous. I still have a chunk of the juicy fruit one that is more like the fun from Lush in the tub right now. And I'm almost at my end of it. And it is reusable. I think this one might be reusable too. But she always sends them with a funny looking ducky on top. This one I got the chocolate ducky. I have a grasshopper duck. An alien duck. Um, cool. Just cute ducks on top. Here is from her Halloween line. This is Snow Cherry, the Blood Bomb. It's beautiful. It's got glitters in it, the whole nine. Now, I had gotten two of these. Mine has a little dent inside here, just because it got kind of in the box. And the the better of the, of the two that did not get clunked in the box is going into giveaway. So we have the Blood Bomb. We also have, which is mine, 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 my Jack Bomb. This is a Zombie Jack, and this is French Pear, and oh my god, it is beautiful. It smells so good. Cannot wait to demo this guy. Now that we're in uh, October, I can demo them. I was trying to hold, up, hold out. I couldn't hold out on my Witch's Brew one, though. I had to set that off. And here is another Witch's Brew. This is the Bloody Eye. Isn't that so cool? That's a lot of detail work, huh? But this, too, is the Witch's Brew scent. Richard just dropped something. I love the Witch's Brew scent. It's my favorite scent. Okay, guys. Oh, one more from Atomic Bomb. This thing. Oh, no! Oh, it's alive. <laughs> this thing is absolutely amazing. You saw that coming, right? This is the Pumpkin Patch Bubble Bar. It has three different scents to it. Uh, it has a lemongrass, uh, pumpkin, something else. But me and her were talking about it and she told me. But look how gorgeous this is. This is like the Big Pumpkin Charlie Brown or whatever it was called. The Great Pumpkin. The pumpkin patch is awesome. I will demo him, even though I would like to save him, but I will demo him. This is what you guys can see. And I believe this is bomb and the rest is bubble bar. Am I right, Terry? I might be right. I think the two pumpkins are bomb and everything else is bubble bar. I'm not sure if it's all bubble bar. It could be. I'll ask her again, though. I mean, I have it written down. She said it to me when we were messaging back and forth one day. Okay, guys, let me load this up now and get this up for you guys viewing, for you guys to have your little viewing Pleasure going on there and pack away some of these and we will move on along to another company. So if you are not subscribed, please subscribe down below and hit that notifications button so that way you know the next video I post, whether it be a collection, haul, demo, uh, giveaway, anything. So I will definitely be back on in a little bit. If you enjoy these collection type videos, hit that thumbs up and let me know and I will continue posting my ever-growing collection. Love you very much and I'll be back in a few moments.